Hi everyone, welcome to Dental School where learning is simplified. Hope you all are safe at home. Our topic for the day is chemotherapy for tuberculosis, which is an extract from pharmacology. But yeah, it is useful for you in any subjects where TB is asked as a question. So we have tried to include as many clues and mnemonics as possible. Let's start. Introduction. Tuberculosis is a chronic granulomatous disease caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. Hope you all know about it. So there are two line of drugs for TB. First line of drugs and second line of drugs. First line of drugs is called so because it has superior efficiency. Remember that guys you might uh, add it as an extra point. Okay. What are the first line of drugs? We have made it simple with the mnemonic priest. Remember priest. Just like how a priest do exorcism. Okay. P for pyrazinamide. R for rifampicin. I for isony acid. E for ethambutol. ST for streptomycin. Okay. So here ethambutol is the only tuberculostatic drug. Just remember like that. So automatically what happens? All the other drugs are tuberculosidal. Mm? Remember the word priest. Mm? P for pyrazinamide. R for rifampicin. I for isoniacid. E for ethambutol. And ST for streptomycin. Now the adverse effect of these drugs are very important. And we have tried to include a few clues for you to remember. Let's see. P for pyrazinamide. The clue here is, remember it as puracinamide. Okay, uric, puracinamide. So what happens here? Uric acid accumulation occurs. So it might lead to hyperuricemia. These uric acid crystals, they get accumulated in the joints and it might cause gouty arthritis. Then again, hepatotoxicity is another adverse effect. I have highlighted it because hepatotoxicity is a common adverse effect in almost all drugs. I said almost all drugs which acts as first line drugs for TB. Okay, so hepatotoxicity here, there will be increased serum transaminases which might lead to jaundice. And it may cause hepatic necrosis ultimately leading to death. Another side effect is fever which is very common in most of the uh, first line drugs against TB and vomiting. Okay, Remember puracinamide. Coming to the next one R for rifampicin. The clue here is very simple that is R for red. Orange red color stains in the secretions like tears, saliva, sweat because the drug is red in color. So it will stain all your secretions. So if that person is using contact lens, again that will also get stained as red. Then I told you about hepatotoxicity which is coming here. I told you fever is another common adverse effect. So flu like symptoms can happen. Fever, body pain, chills, anemia. This occurs in intermittent drug dosage. Next is along with fever what happens hypersensitivity reactions like skin rashes, urticaria can occur. Again nephritis and hemolysis are also possible. Now coming to the head. CNS symptoms can occur like headache, dizziness, drowsiness. Just remember fever. Automatically you connect it to the symptoms which comes when you have a normal fever okay then you have GI disturbances nausea and vomiting which is a very common adverse effect in almost all drugs in pharmacology and abdominal cramps and diarrhea just remember that man's eye which you see in the picture okay reddish discoloration now coming to the next drug that is I for isoniacid so in most of our textbooks, isoniacid is represented as I-N-H. So the clue here is I-N-H. Okay. I for ice. I've made it like that just for you to remember. If 
you know you are using ice for a prolonged time applying a large amount of ice on your body for a prolonged time it might cause cns toxicity okay so ice cns toxicity that is it might lead to seizure and psychosis see how the guy is shivering in that picture and n4 neuritis isoniazid the most important adverse effect is peripheral neuritis so why is this peripheral neuritis occurring it is caused due to increased excretion of pyridoxine so what can we do to prevent that simple just give prophylactic pyridoxine that is 10 to 50 mg of prophylactic pyridoxine along with isoniazid okay then h for hepatotoxicity i told you it is very common it might lead to hepatic necrosis or jaundice and then gi symptoms include nausea and vomiting so remember i for cns toxicity that is remember i is what you have to write as cns toxicity not ice okay e for ethambutol so the clue here is e for ice okay e for ice which is very simple optic neuritis is occurring here and there will be visual acuity will be diminished that is inability to differentiate from red to green red and green people will be having difficulty to differentiate red and green and there will be fever hypersensitivity reaction headache and again nausea and vomiting okay so remember e for eyes optic neuritis decrease visual acuity last one is s for streptomycin it is the least preferred drug because it has poor penetration power the streptomycin it only acts on the extracellular organisms so it is least preferred and the adverse effect caused by it is autotoxicity and nephrotoxicity coming to the second line of drugs okay to remember this just remember the word face pack yeah it is very simple face pack okay f for fluoroquinolones okay so we know the word amigo means friend so remember fluoroquinolone amicacin a for amicacin he wants to be friends so with somebody so he is going on a cycle cycloserin c for cycloserin and e for ethionamide that is the person with whom he wants to make friends with so ethionamide face f for fluoroquinolones a for amicacin c for cycloserin e for ethionamide p a for para amino salicylic acid okay opposite to that house there is someone called amino salicylic acid her name is sally hmm? so para amino salicylic acid c for ciprofloxacin so she was just flossing her teeth ciprofloxacin and k for canamycin okay hope this is easy for you to remember face pack f for fluoroquinolones wants to make friends a for amicacin he goes in the cycle c for cycloserin e for ethionamide ethionamide is the person he meets opposite to that house para amino sally is there salicylic acid she is flossing ciprofloxacin and k for canamycin hope you people will remember this now i am talking a little bit about combination therapy that is we don't give any specific particular single drug as a defense against tb see the picture monotherapy the tb will may it may develop resistance so we have to give this therapy for a prolonged time so instead what we use we use combination therapy okay so this is the a uh, protocol for combination therapy according to who here h represents isoniazid r represent rifampicin z represent pyrazinamide e represents ethambutol and s represents streptomycin this you have to learn how this regimen is coming so uh, this 
one is for you to remember mm. the questions from this topic are enumerate the first line tubercular drugs their characteristic adverse effects which is very important then rationale for combination drug therapy i just told you the rationale and gave you the general you know how who has recommended the treatment i just added it i wanted to actually explain the adverse effect of tb more in the slide and again mention the second line of drugs for tb okay hope you all understood so go back to your textbooks i referred patmaja uday kumar medical pharmacology textbook of patmaja uday kumar please go back uh, learn from your textbook your class notes and then you might understand the concept well if you have any doubts feel free to share with us through our gmail dental school for at gmail.com